This is how you can outline your text and more importantly, some reasons why you would want to do it. My name is Kent, I'm a graphic designer and this is Dia Graphics. So first of all, let's grab the text tool and type in a text. For this video, I'll simply type in demo. So because this is a text box, I can easily click wherever I want on the text and simply change it. But if I outline the text, I will no longer be able to change the text later. So why would you want to outline the text? And the first and most obvious reason is so you can edit the text. And let me show you how. So simply select the text box, right click the text and click create outlines. This does the exact same thing as going to object and clicking expand. So now after clicking create outlines, I can no longer select the text tool and change the letters. As you see right here, I'll just make a new text box on top of it. So let's delete that one. But what I now can do and couldn't before is edit all the letters very specifically using all these anchor points right here. This means, for instance, I can pick the direct selection tool, grab one of these anchor points right here and edit the text as I want to. And you can edit the text just as you like with whatever tool you like, even this pencil tool right here. This is what you want to do if you want to create a custom logo for instance. So now, as I said before, this was the most obvious reason why you want to outline your text. Now let me tell you the less obvious but just as important reason. So let's delete this text and type in a new one. So now as you can see right here in the top of the screen, I'm using a font called Damian. And Damian is a font I have downloaded. And why is this important? So let's say you have made a logo that is just a text written out like this. And now you want to send this illustrator file to another person or even a printing house. And if you just send the file like this, the other person or the printing house will not be able to open the illustrator file with the correct font. They will simply just get a pop-up saying that they do not have the font and if they click continue to open the project, the project will just open up with an incorrect font. So this is the error message the other person or the printing house will get if they are trying to open up your project without having your font installed. So as you can see right here, they can see that I'm using Damian and also that the font is not found on the system. And the missing font has been substituted. So let's click open to see if anything has changed. And as you clearly can see right now, this wasn't the font we were using just before. So let's click on the font and as you can see right here, it says Damian because Illustrator knows that I use Damian. But it put an asterisk right here to tell me that the font isn't installed on my computer. So if you're doing graphics that include text, make sure that you outline the text, especially if you're doing a logo. You do not want the printing house to mess up your logo. I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you want to watch more graphic design tutorials, you can check out one of my videos on Encart right now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.